change in the normal color and texture of chicken poop should be of concern to the farmer. I have also seen in the comment section of our videos farmers asking of how to handle the greenish or the whitish poop or diarrhea in their chickens. In today's video, I will be giving you four organic natural treats to eliminate or fight off these abnormal changes in the color of the chicken poop, be it the greenish poop, the whitish poop or any other color. I will also look into what causes these abnormal colors in the chicken poop and how we can pre uh, prevent our chickens from these causes so that they can remain healthy and productive. But before we get into this amazing topic, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel. And also, if you get this video educative and you, if you get value in our videos, make sure that you hit that like button. There are three things that bring about the abnormal color in the chicken poop. And one of them is starvation for example the lack of enough feeds and water leads to the poop becoming greenish and this is because uh, there is a green enzyme called the bile juice that is released by the liver and when, and when there is nothing to digest this bile juice is usually passed out as it is and that is why you observe greenish color in the poop number two is about the type of diet feeding chickens a lot of green vegetables or if they feed a lot of green pasture uh, then you'll find that uh, the poop will turn greenish and number three is the diseases diseases are the most common cause of, of this change in the normal poop color the reddish poop is usually due to coccidiosis and this reddish poop is definitely at the spot of of blood in the chicken poop the other thing is about the greenish poop is usually a sign of the newcastle disease and also the fall cholera and whitish poop may be a sign of pleuram disease before we get into the organic treats uh, for this abnormal change in the uh, in the colors of the chicken poop what are the ways that we can use so that we can be able to prevent these abnormal colors in the chicken poop and number one of course is making sure that we feed our chicken the right amount so that we can avoid these cases of starvation or where the bile juice have nothing to digest in the stomachs of the chicken and this leads uh, to the change of the color of the poop the other thing is about the type of diet you may not want to give your chickens a lot of vegetables because you see this will all always reflect in the your poop the first treat that will help you to handle this greenish poop, the whitish poop, or any type of color change is aloe vera. And aloe vera is one of the best known medicinal plants of chicken illnesses. When you see the reddish or the greenish or the whitish poop in the chickens, prepare an aloe vera gel extract and add it into the drinking water of the chickens. Sometimes you may have to give the affected chicken by mouth. Uh, you are going to add 40 ml of the aloe vera gel into each liter of the chicken drinking water. 40 ml of the aloe vera gel is equivalent to 8 spoonfuls. This is because one spoonful is equal to 5 ml. Therefore, you can just, sco you can just uh, scoop 8 spoonfuls of this aloe vera gel and add them into each liter of the chicken's dr uh, drinking water. I keep administering this aloe vera gel to you, the affected chicken until you see the abnormal color in the poop going away. The second treat is the bitter leaf extract. The bitter leaf has been found to be effective in boosting the immunity in the chickens. It helps to modify the gut bacteria, therefore fighting off infections that cause abnormal color in the chicken poop. To prepare the extract, take the leaves uh, of this bitter leaf and wash them. Then you are going to put them in a container 
and then you are going to add some water and press the leaves as if you are cleaning the clothes by hand then the leaves will release a green extract that you are going to add into the chicken's drinking water after sieving it make sure that you sieve it so that you can remove the parts of the leaves that could have been broken down during the process you are going to add 250 ml of this bitter leaf extract into each liter of the chicken's drinking water and this will help to eliminate the abnormal color changes in the chicken poop and the other organic treat is the basil uh, the basil leaf extract has been found to boost immunity and kill worms in the chicken gut the basil leaf extract will also help to handle the illnesses that causes the abnormal poop color in your birds for example it helps to fight off coccidiosis uh, it prevents you know against newcastle disease and other diseases like fall typhoid that bring about the changes in the the abnormal changes in the color of the poop uh, the basil extract is usually extracted the same as that of the bitter leaf the dosage is a uh, 100 ml of the basil leaf extract into each liter of the chicken drinking water the fourth organic treat is the thyme powder for thyme powder the leaves are usually dried and then crushed into the powder form then the amount of this powder that you are going to add into the chicken feed is equal to 2% and the 2% means that if the for example if the daily intake of your chickens is 10 kg of the feeds then you're going to take the 2% of the 10 kg which is 0.2 and 0.2 if you do the conversions it will go it will add up to 200 grams therefore you're going now to add 200 grams of this thyme powder into the 10 kg of the feeds thyme powder is very effective because it have antioxidant antimicrobial properties which helps to fight off infections which might be causing the the whitish or the greenish or even the blood in the chicken poop the additional benefits of these treats that i have given you is that they boost growth and production in broilers and layers the uh, in broilers and layers despite healing illnesses in these chickens as you eliminate this reddish and whitish and also the greenish poop in your birds make sure that you watch this video that is on your screen right now so that you can be able to know how to handle infectious coryza in your flock organically